this show 100% accessible, and we love that! <laughs> we also have another uh, improviser on the keys. Give it for Canute, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Big round of applause to Anthony in the tech booth. <laughs> hey, and I will be your host for the evening. I am Jay Floyd, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for me! You are the best audience in Multnomah County, so give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> All right, and we, uh, we're not alone in this, but we have some amazing sponsors, and so I just want to take a moment for our sponsors. So uh, we have some visual aids. So I'm going to list all these sponsors, and then we'll do like a big like round of applause for all of them at the end. So, uh, one of our longest sponsors ever is Deschutes Brewery. They're local, they're amazing, buy their beer. And then another local whiskey distillery, Bull Run Distillery, and uh, Sheba Feminist Sex Shop, yes. And then we also have the best grocery outlet in the country, the Hollywood Grocery Outlet. Yeah. And then uh, a Central Deprivation Chamber in Northwest Portland, the Float Shop. Give it up for our sponsors! us out a lot, they give us product, and they give us prizes to give away. So we have some prizes that three lucky audience members get to win, but we also have a troupe that's been uh, touring the country. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the prize boys! given away. Uh, so, prize, is that chest hair? <laughs> That's not a prize. <laughs> uh, okay, so prize number one, we have a $25 gift card to Hollywood Grocery Outlet. Yeah. Lots of money. That go a long way. You can dress like this and go to Grocery Outlet. <laughs> cheap, cheap. All right, uh, then we also have a $25 gift card to Sheba. a free float at the float shop. Yeah, we'll just to reopen, just float it out. All right, so we need three audience members who want to come on stage and compete to win. Okay, one, raise hand, now you may come up here. Oh, you were in a show? Great. Uh, what is your name? Naomi. Naomi. What's your name? Jennifer. Okay, catch up later. Uh, Roxanne. Roxanne. Alright, give up for our audience members. Alright, so you, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna play a game. It's the name game. Each one of you, you're gonna say a name into the crowd, and you're hoping that that name is here. Uh, if your if your name is said and you're here, just say, just say present or here. Like if I were to say the name John. Here. Okay, great. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. So then I was still here. Yeah. <laughs> John's are very humble people. Yeah. Now, if I were to say a name like Sebastian, that's not here. Yeah, that'd be like I'm out kind of thing. Okay. Do you understand the game? Okay. There's three prizes to three of you, so you all win. This is Portland. Okay. <laughs> but the winner gets to choose first, and I know you're all looking for that sheep off, right? <laughs> Okay, great. Are we ready to play? Okay. First name. Justin. Here. <laughs> fair, fair. Okay. Also, you can't say anyone that's at your table. Okay. Three. Oh. 
Not at our table. Not at your table. No. <laughs> uh, James. What? Yeah! God damn it! What? <laughs> Is that is, is that a yes? Oh, okay, yeah. You didn't know his own name. Okay, here we go. There's two for two. Here. Here. Oh my God. Hey, can we get the mic up on this? Okay, great. So you're all you're three for three. Great. Here we go. Now it's gonna get a little tougher. Mike. Yay. Oh. That's not allowed. <laughs> Sam. No. No. Okay, so you, you're, in, you're in the purgatory table. <laughs> Sam, don't say Sam. Don't say Sam. Okay. Um, Rob. Here. Oh! No, Robbie. All right, here we go. Next round. Jake. Hey. Nice. Yeah. We need like a, like a present, you know, like be, be proud of your People like the fans. Brian. I'm here. Nice. Hey, Brian. Uh, Mark. Present. Ah. Uh, Jake. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I already said that one. Um, Dan? No, Dan. But at the end of the day, grocery outlet. Yes! Yeah! 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 Okay, you guys are doing things. So we must not run around. You were around. Okay. What price do you want? What are the float tank? Float tank or the sheep up? The sheep up. Sheep up! I'm really excited about them. They are an up-and-coming group. I um, am honored to produce the show and to be able to have groups that I am a fan of. And we also have some stand-up comedy, and then we have the feature group, J Name. So, ladies and gentlemen, go bananas for your first group, Bad Girls! Yeah! Susie? Yeah. I've, I've been meaning to ask. 
ask you something. Okay. Will you go see Metallica with me later tonight? Metallica! Yeah, I've got two front row tickets to see. Oh my god, I was praying for this. I cannot believe this is happening. I I mean, we're in Grand Central Park. Central Park. It's grand. <laughs> it's fucking grand. <laughs> Susie, will you go to Metallica tonight in Madison Square Garden? Yes! Yes! Oh, yes, oh yes, my yes, god, thank goodness. I can't believe oh, it. I just, you know, I knew this was gonna be a special event, so surprise. Oh, hey, hey Susie. Hey. Your mom's here. Uh, yeah. Mom. Hi, honey. Hi. I'm just yeah. like, I'm so glad you're out here with your friends. Friends? <laughs> yeah. Wait, friend? Does she not know about us? So, I watch us and I want to let you know I'm so excited for our, our, our mother-daughter bonding night tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, tonight, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to get our nails done, we're going to go shopping. You can invite your friends. Hey, overheard you got tickets to Metallica or something. Oh, yeah. I'm taking Susie. Oh, damn, never mind. <laughs> Hey, you. Um, 
I'm she never stops, never stopping. Mom, I got this. You don't have to be constantly trying to control my life and everything around you. I'm improving your life incrementally. It's very different. <laughs> All right, you guys got, you just figure it out. No, no, I'm gonna get a bag. Hey, I'm no, gonna get no, a bagel. You, you can't just do that. Hey, hey. The bagel thing always works. What was that? The what thing? The bagel? Bagel. bagel. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mom. I wonder where I get it from. <laughs> what do you want in your bagel? Your bagel? I need 13 bagels and a bag. <laughs> You're the Not most... a plastic bag, a paper bag. You're literally the most confrontational person in that comes. God, I love Portland except for the people. <laughs> Susie? Yeah? Your mom thinks we're best friends. You know we're not best friends. I mean, we are best friends. We're more than best friends. <laughs> Susie, I'm taking you to a Metallica concert. I wouldn't just take Jesus Christ. I wouldn't just take the You wrinkle in my studs! This is a nice jacket. I got this from Saxon Fifth. It's right next to Grand Central Park. You gotta tell her about us. I'm gonna tell her. Hey, yeah. sweet studs. Thank you. Hot studs. Don't hold on to that. Thanks, Mom. I'm shy. I can't touch her. You gotta tell your mom about it. Did you get that from Sex? That's looking good! That's looking so good! Damn! Hey, you get that! I brought some pizza! Mom, I'm gay! This oh! Is oh. <laughs> I'll be over here! I'm sorry. I know you planned my wedding. It's Ralph, but it's not happening. Well, Susie. That's who I want to be with, and we're going Metallica tonight alone without you. She told you she's gay? Yes! And I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. I'm thrilled. I just haven't said anything yet, because I'm in shock. <laughs> I just stood there for, like, hours like this. <laughs> Why is the love in your eyes? I know, well, I don't, yeah, I hope she saw it, too. Oh, God, yes. But it's then she just walked, they yeah. walked away. They just walked away? Yeah, they're, they're like, sent me the dot, dot, dot. Oh, you know, I don't know what that means. Oh, that's thinking. What's she thinking, thinking about? I don't, I, kids these days, I don't know. <laughs> the millennials. Well, what should I do? Should I tell her that I'm... You love her? I love her and I'm proud of her no matter who she is? Yeah, but louder probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Park? I think so. I think she's heartbroken. And she's, she's supposed to be so here, right? Happy. She's not here. She's, she didn't make it to the concert? No. She had that ticket. I think she just gave it away or something. Susie, babe, I'm sorry. Hey, do you think it's cool if we just sit nearby them? I think so. I think that's the motherly thing to do, right? Ralph? Larry. It's Larry. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just felt <laughs> like I should come with a date. I feel like you don't make eye contact with me when you talk. Well, I will try. I know it's okay. God, you know, your mother had such a piercing voice, I feel like I can hear her even over the metallic music. Let's, let's just make this let's make this a thing. Holy shit! Mom! What? I'm Larry, I'm your friend. You fucker! Hey, I just have to What about you? I don't know how concerts work, so I grabbed him. She seems a little tight with your daughter. Also, please don't I, mention that I hit on you in a park. I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Just wear the wedding dress, okay? Is that cool? At the wedding? I think you should be flattered. Would you say we tell her? Oh, shit, she's nice. Okay. All right. And if you would. What the fuck? Get up, dude. I can live here with my girlfriend. I have a bed knee.
video. Uh, there's a very special person who made that video. I want a big round of applause for Mr. Andy Bass. Gosh, I love Bad Girls, I love Andy Bat, I love Blake, I love you. And uh, the next stand-up comedian, he's he's blown up. He just goes on some list on the internet about like top Oregon comedian, something, you know, whatever. Um, but I am a huge fan of his. I think that you're gonna be an instant fan of his as well. Uh, please go bananas for Mahan and Al Shaky! something on the internet. Yeah, you can look it up if you want. Just good luck spelling my name. <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, my name is Mohamed. That's my name. Uh, I've been uh, I've been living in the U.S. Uh, for uh, four and a half years now, and I think I need to speak to a manager. <laughs> The product looks nothing like the image. <laughs> my research, I even read the reviews before I came to And I was like, wow, 50 stars sounds amazing. <laughs> Both of my roommates are Jewish, and when I tell people that, they tend to get too excited about it. And they will do the thing where they're like, mm -hmm. Why you look at that? Arabs and Jews can live together. And I'm like, sure, yeah. Uh, but I think that you're trying to make this into like an Israel-Palestine thing, and in our household, the stakes are way lower. <laughs> like none of us wake up in the morning to be like, well, this land has been given to me by the Lord. <laughs> and I'm like that's a whimsical way to say landlord. Also, our landlord, Greg. <laughs> Definitely not God. <laughs> like, the only thing he turns into wine is our rent money. That's it. Because yeah. Greg is a piece of shit. <laughs> rescue dog is because uh, she told us that every day since the day she got it. Uh, yeah, and uh, she got it for emotional support. Yeah, so uh, technically, she's the rescue. Uh, yeah. yeah, some of you laughed, some of you are definitely rescued. <laughs> before I have myself, so I asked him, like, oh, Guillaume is a nice name, what does Guillaume mean? And he said, oh, Guillaume, again, is an Italian name that translates to, God is great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he said it that way. And I was like, good, very impressive, nice. Um, but I felt kind of jealous, uh, because I know for a fact that I could not name my kid, God is great in Arabic. <laughs> That won't fly. Like, like, like that literally won't fly anywhere. Uh, yeah. But Tally is cool. Uh, 
No, we, we do live in a weird time because like uh, everyone has an opinion, like especially about stuff like guns, for example, and everyone is wrong. Uh, <laughs> and I, as a comedian, like every time like something bad happens or a shooting or something, I have to go on social media and I have to retweet something clever because that's what comedy is. So last time a shooting camera just went and I tweeted that we shouldn't be sending thoughts and prayers and we should be praying for more gun control. Which to me sounded like a very logical statement to post on the internet. <laughs> yeah, have you guys seen the internet? <laughs> yeah, and I believed in what I said until that uh, guy Kevin replied to me. You guys know Kevin? <laughs> From social media? <laughs> yeah, you can look him up. He's an egg. And, uh, <laughs> and Kevin replied to me, this is what Kevin said, and I quote, uh, You fucking Muslim, I eat bacon 24 7. <laughs> uh, which is quite impressive. <laughs> uh, I was like, man, I don't eat bacon, but I think that's super unhealthy. <laughs> also, probably the worst argument against gun control. <laughs> I'm sharing your favorite food that <laughs> No, I, I didn't grow up Muslim though. I, I grew up in a Muslim family, uh, but growing up I used to read the Bible a lot uh, because uh, you gotta know what your enemies are up to. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> surprisingly, they were up to the same things. <laughs> I remember growing up, like, uh, like people like wouldn't talk about like sex or sexuality or dating, like none of that, except uh, my uh, cousin who was super religious who would come to me growing up just to be like, hey, you know what, Muhammad, as a Muslim, when you die, you go to heaven and you get 72 virgins. Yeah. And I remember being like, I think that's too many. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, if you want too many, I'll come back to you. Also, I'm eight, so stop discussing. <laughs> no, but I did. I, I used to read the Bible. I think if you, even if you don't believe in the Bible, there's so much to learn from it. And one of my favorite stories is the story of Noah. I don't know if you guys uh, know the story, but I know some of you are like, mm, that story doesn't check out. Uh, <laughs> and it's not the fact that he lived to be 950 years old. <laughs> it is that his wife stayed with him that whole time. Because <laughs> that man spent, what, 75, 80 years, I don't know, just being like, babe, 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 babe. No, just hear me out, just hear me out. Like, straight, just hear me out, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Hear me out, okay? Just let me finish. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> An ark. <laughs> I'm gonna put animals on it, it's gonna be great, yeah. Climate change is real. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I like to mention that no, it's super blue. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of ISIS, uh, <laughs> this is an improv show. You never know what happens. Uh, no, they suck. Uh, they really suck. That's just my observation. Uh, I don't like them. I don't know a lot of people don't. Uh, but uh, you know who hate them more than anyone else? Uh, it is that group, uh, Al Qaeda. <laughs> Yeah, remember those YouTube stars? Uh, yeah, only the 90s kids can relate. And, uh... Because Al Qaeda is probably somewhere now in a cave just watching ISIS just thrive on TV and do their thing, and they're there just being like, stupid millennials. Uh, 
their fancy cameras and shit. Just ruining everything. This is a great show. I like it. it's been going it's been going for a while now because I remember like I left the house and uh, George W. Bush the father was alive. Yeah. Too soon. Yeah. Too late, if you ask me. Yeah. Ninety-four years, that's a lot. <laughs> anyway, let's shift from that to something more uh, whimsical. Uh, no, I, uh, I saw in the news lately uh, that the uh, school district in Pennsylvania, uh, they want to arm students and protect them by giving them rocks. <laughs> yeah, I know some of you don't believe me. And you're like, Pennsylvania doesn't have schools. They do. <laughs> they do, you, they get. No, but they want to arm students and protect them by giving them rocks. And that would work only in one case. Like, if the attacker weapon of choice was like, scissors. Uh, yeah, if he comes with paper, those kids are fucked. <laughs> No, before I started doing comedy uh, full time, I, uh, I used to work in retail, in customer service. That's what I used to do. Uh, anyone here still works in retail or customer service or something similar? Yeah, yeah I can hear from your sad voices. Uh, it's super depressing. It's, it is depressing, and I assume the rest of you are just super rich, and that's fine. Uh, but I remember like I used to work at this place, I'm not even allowed to talk about it on stage because once they learned that I did comedy, they made me sign a contract that kind of made it illegal to talk about them. Uh, yeah, but they do sell iPhones. Uh, yeah, from a glass box in downtown Portland, so it could be anything. Uh, But I remember like working there when that uh, hashtag all lives matter was trending for a while. And I remember looking at that and being like, oh, those people have never worked retail before. Because <laughs> once you do retail, it changes your perspective from all lives matter to something more like, oh, some people deserve to die. Yeah. <laughs> people. And I remember like walking there, like, uh, cause uh, what happens usually, like people would hear my accent and then they would try to guess where I'm from because that's a fun game for both of us. <laughs> and I had this lady one time who asked me where I was from. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm from Libya, that's where I'm from. And she said, oh, <laughs> do you mean Lebanon? And, uh, and I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Yeah, Lebanon. For 27 years, I called it Libya, and, and here you come. Yeah, the customer is always right, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, that's my time. My name is Mohamed Thank you very much. This is my slow jam solo set. I'm just kidding, you are here for J names. Let's hear it for, in my opinion, the best improv group in Portland and probably the world. Let's hear it again for J names. <laughs> for you and to perform for you. Uh, my name is Jay. What's your name? Jen. Jen. Justin. Great. We are Jay names. Yeah. One of our uh, hometown heroes, Jake Ferg, is very ill, so... Uh, He's got the mono. It blasted out. <laughs> He's the Watch man. out. Too He's got much. <laughs> I don't know who he got it from, but I want it. <laughs> okay. I had shot up for the photo shoot when he was sick. Thank you. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. But we 
decided that we would have a very special near and dear player fill in for Jake as only one person can. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for KT Barron! Stop. But keep going. Stop. Princess of improv. <laughs> Queen of improv. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, Chancellor. Of okay. Improv. We're done. We're done. <laughs> uh, and so we're going to perform an Armando for you. So we have a very special guest from all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. She's the Queen of Dad's Garage. Give it up for Whitney Milson. First time to Portland, loving it. I'd love to get a word. Thank you. Woo! Um, I'd love to get a word to kind of like click me into this thing. Diversity. Diversity. Congress. Diversity. What? Congress. Congress. Okay, great. And Congress. No, that's a boring story. Um, <laughs> escape room. Universe. Escape room. Excellent. Okay, great. Excellent. So, um, escape room. I uh, have never really been to one of these things. Escape room's not really my bag, but this is like at the end of a day. Actually, where Jay and I met was at Improvaganza at Rapid Fire Theater in Edmonton. And a bunch of the group, we, I mean, we've been going all day. There was a cookout that day. We're like, we're just like smoking weed and like throwing back brews all day long. Eating ton of food. We're tired. I was tired. Uh, so it's the end of the day, and everybody's like, you know what, escape room, we got to go. It's amazing. And I was like, all right. And so we pack in the car, we get there, everybody's in, you're like handcuffed to like a pipe to start with, and I'm like, well, I'm coming down, and whatever, like, don't leave me here. Uh, so we like get through. I'm not even kidding, guys. I am like just, it wasn't like, I wasn't high still, but I was just at that like really mellow zone where like anything could happen, and I'm feeling different. And so we're like walking from room to room, and everybody's like looking for clues, and like everything's happening. And they're like looking at stuff, and I'm in the back, kind of like rubbing my eyes and being like, "Are we to the next room yet?" So then we get to the end, and everybody's like putting all this stuff together, and they flip the switch, and stuff happens, and whatever. And somehow, because of a key that I found at the beginning that just happened to be in my pipe, everyone else died, and I was the only one that survived. <laughs> all of the legwork for whatever reason. It was like, if you had this symbol, you're the only survivor. Everybody else got gassed. And I was like, well, fuck, guys. So what I took from that is like, just get high, have fun, hang out, let other people do all the legwork, and you'll probably succeed. <laughs> What did the what what did her dad say? I mean, uh, like, it seems like maybe they're estranged a little bit. Oh, well, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Why don't you ask my dad about that? It's not my fault. It's his. All right, fine. Drop it from five hundred thousand to two fifty. <laughs> right. What are you laughing about? Yeah. Oh, I don't. What are you laughing about? This is fun. <laughs> that has a drippy ceiling. Yeah. If you think this is the first warehouse with a drippy ceiling I've been in, then you are crazy. My dad and I are not speaking. Hey, Tina, thanks so much for coming to my wedding here at this abandoned building. Um, I just, you're my maid of honor, and I'm so glad you're here for this day. I can't wait. <laughs> that kind of enthusiasm that just makes me know that I can get through anything. Yep, you sure can, especially this marriage. It's gonna last. <laughs> You know, no one wanted to invite you, but I said she is the life of the party. We have to have her here. I am. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and 
tell you I'm pregnant. Of course, we're getting married. <laughs> I'm not paying it. I'm not talking to my daughter, okay? I'm estranged. <laughs> hey, look. We're gonna kill her. Go for it. I'm estranged. Yeah. Is he gonna do it with that taser? <laughs> no. I'll tase her for all afternoon and then she'll Wait. eventually die. Well, you better work with those biceps. She's a tough gal. <laughs> look, I'm sorry. I know you're estranged from your daughter, but you really think that you just want her to die? Yeah. How much Come money on. is my husband paying for our daughter's release? 250,000 is on the table right now. All right, 200,000. <laughs> 190. What do you think this 185. is? 185. 100 even. No, what is you're not negotiating. 175 and I'll get a library card for her. $50,000 and Costco's on me. <laughs> cleaning a thing today. <laughs> Just gonna watch you work. <laughs> All right. Ever since I bought into this Dave and Buster's, I've been ready to make a power move. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna pick the gum off of this table over here. Mm. Love those, the thick corduroy you're wearing. Those baggy pants really accentuate everything. Oh, uh, thanks, yeah. I try, I, I wear them so I don't get sexually harassed at work. <laughs> therapist said we should try this, but I feel like we're in my bedroom. I know that we're not at Dave and Buster's. I know, I know. I know, like, I'm trying to get into it, but you know, I just have such a problem. Caitlin. I couldn't. You didn't have real props. <laughs> You've got to get a ski ball machine. Absolutely. Have one installed, make it real. I'm an idiot. <laughs> machine is an antique. I mean, are you sure you can afford it? Of course I can. Anything. Anything. <laughs> what is it for? This is my grandfather's and it's not for an honorable purpose. It's a completely <laughs> honorable purpose. I need to have sex with my husband again. What? Yes. <laughs> Grandpa? Hopefully and a hundred whole score. <laughs> Grandpa would have wanted this. <laughs> so, it's a miniature, babe, but I think that if we go for it, Pretend like you're playing it, oh, right. and it, it gets jammed. The ball gets stuck. These marbles are cute. Ooh, I'm the ghost of grandpa. I like this. You've been doing seances in the basement again, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah? I mean... You would rather be with a ghost than your own wife and flesh and blood! What? Caitlin, you have to sage the house. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Marriage is so much harder than I thought it was going. To Welcome be. to the witch store. <laughs> what did you want this sage for? It's for pure causes. I need to kill my husband. Here you go. <laughs> All right, it looks like uh, the ball's jammed in here, so I'm gonna have to get in there. <clears throat> oh. Internal thoughts. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to do this quick 30 minute spell, but look at my husband, he's trying so hard. Oh. Oh, it's really jammed in there. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna cut to the dagger I keep on my thigh. <laughs> oh gosh, I've almost got it. <laughs> I'm a ghost! <laughs> do this many activities. We have morning unit, after 
afternoon unit, afternoon activity, and then PM campfire. We have to get this locked down. Those kids are exhausted, and we need them to sleep now. <laughs> you know, you keep saying we. I think you should start saying I. <laughs> because You're my counselor in training. Where's good night story? We're tired. you have ever dreamed. <laughs> All the dreams within your head and your heart and your soul. <laughs> All of them within the next 10 years will die. <laughs> Slowly they will die a punishing cruel death and you will wake up one day when you're 38 to 45 <laughs> and you'll be like what have I done? <laughs> Big dreams. Just <laughs> the one day you wake up in accountant. Ooh, wow. Or a team manager. family it is amazing and they like they have a two-story house and they'll take him to bed they like all crawl up the stairs like they're bears <laughs> they go like let's be the bear family and they like go <laughs> off and like they're like getting their milk and stuff it's very cute um, <laughs> anyways so this kid uh, also their kid like and I'm not big on kids like so don't ask me to be it because like I'm not good at it um, but they were like, I am freelance and at that time didn't have a lot going on and they were like, you need a job, we need a babysitter, can you do it? Our son may walk today. And I was like, sure. So I've been with this kid for a long time and it's like seeing a plant grow, but like they're really smart and they turn into humans and it's very cool. So this kid is like magic. He's two years old and he's already sight reading like cards that I can show him and stuff. Like it was very cool to hang out with him. Like he's the coolest science project. And so, anyways, I like put him upstairs uh, to bed, and uh, I'm downstairs like catching up on the Kardashians, and um, it's like intellectual work. And I like see on the baby monitor that he's like crying and like having a fit and whatever. And so I go upstairs and because it, it's went on for a while, and I was like, "Hey, Ethan, look, man." And that's how I talk to kids, so like, don't ask me to babysit. Um, I was like, "Hey, Ethan, look, like I can't have you up here crying by yourself, so like." Either you gotta get it together, or you're gonna have to come downstairs with Miss Whitney and like hang out. And you don't like we're not watching Thomas the Train. And he was like, he was like, <laughs> okay. And I was like, okay, cool. So like, what's your choice? Thinking like I'm gonna get it together. And he was like, oh, I, I, I need to be patient. <laughs> and I was like, yes, yes, you do. You do need to be patient. Like your parents are gonna be home soon. If you can just like ride this out, you it won't last forever. I promise. Like, just be patient. He was like, okay. And like sucked it out, went to bed, and like he is magic. Hey. Hey. What? Hey. Jesus Christ. No, come on. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna make a 
this up for you once. Wow. The next time you knock it over, you're gonna have to pick up yourself. Look, your parents are gonna be home soon, all right? When? It's soon. God, how yeah. long does it take to gamble $150? <laughs> Went to the casino, they went with 150 bucks. If they win, they stay longer. If they lose, they come home quicker. That's why I'm here. God, you know what happens on the cum bed. It never works out. Uh, on the what bed? It's part of the game with the dice. It's a real thing. <laughs> I live in Reno, but I never go to these casinos. The ponchos are 95 cents if you put it on the right one. Ponchos? Yeah, for poncho? the cum bed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're going to need to buckle up. I'm with him. <laughs> Look, the truth is... Oh, I'm sorry. I could buy... Okay, if I win on the cum bed... I oh, we got a new splooger. I'm a yeah. shatter. Yeah. That's right, Steve. Look, I just wanted a drink. <laughs> Make sure you don't catch yourself Teach on fire. Teach me Lizzo. something smart. What? <laughs> Teach me something smart? Teach me some life all lesson right, where right. I might have a higher consciousness at the end of it. Okay, all right. I got, I got one lesson for you. Do you know Gandhi? Remember Gandhi? Of course. Okay. How old are you again? Four. Uh, I don't think you know who Gandhi is. I do. Okay, who's Gandhi? He was a pacifist ahead of his time. You're a smart kid. I am. All right, cool. <laughs> Gandhi! You're a bear. If you want to be a part of this bear family, you need to be a bear. I'm a bear. <laughs> Simply ridiculous because we are so obviously human. <laughs> I want to be a part of this family as much as you do, as much as he does, but I don't want to pretend to be something I'm not. <laughs> She's not fun. No. She's not fun. Can't we just be a bear family? I want to be a bear I family. I want you both to know that I can fully hear everything you're saying and I understand that I am not a fun. <clears throat> Person. However, however, I'm fun in my own ways, like putting things in their proper places and standing up straight instead of hunched over. Some sort of bear. That's why we don't like you. We like things everywhere. We're omnivores. We can eat anything. Plants, meat, anything. You see, now you've made this place such an inseparable mess that I don't know what... Hi, look at these bears. Oh, no. in the films that you've sent of your family. 
I think they're perfect for the staged version of The Revenant. I would be happy to send them your way, but I must ask, would you be willing in gender bending for the role of Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> for I do not know his character's name. <laughs> I have a test out back in a shed. There is a horse. Tonight it will get cold. We are going to leave you in this studio. If you decide to go to the shed and sleep within the horse. <laughs> is this the Revenant or is it Star Wars? <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Look, you've been ready to do this your whole life. It might get a little scary. I'm gonna go hard. <laughs> The scene, this, this is the scene of the play, okay? This is what everyone came for. I know, but it still feels so below me. Five minutes until curtain, okay? That gives us plenty of time. It does. I meant Five ten, I meant ten seconds, ten seconds. Oh, no! Okay. All right, all right, we just gotta go out there and blow them away. I'm, I'm not literally gonna rip your throat out, but it's Here gonna feel Here we like go. It. <laughs> all right. Go out there, I'm gonna approach. Oh, I'm so tired and cold. I have been attacked by so many things and have lost all my teeth already. Oh, so brave, so brave. I only wish that my son could survive. I didn't see the I hope, uh, I hope nothing worse happens to me for I am frostbitten and tired.
guys remember you're on the cave of Azeroth mm. right now? Are you guys going to sit down? No, sit down? I need to stand. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My character's legs have been in splints for weeks. All right. <laughs> right, in the case of Azeroth, you come across a chest. Who chooses to Nathan, open Nathan, um... What? I thought you were going to bring chips this time. <laughs> come sorry, on. I didn't have time to get chips. We are before. in the case of Azeroth, yeah. and you're asking about <laughs> chips? I'm hungry. You're breaking the fourth wall. Thank you. There's a chest. Who's choosing to open it? I will. All Is right. there chips inside? <laughs> If you don't want to play D and D, then you can just go on home. I could play your character in my sleep. Thank you. Oh gosh, I thought D and D was supposed to be like accepting because usually they're the outsiders. So like, why aren't they welcoming insiders? And they just like made you feel body shamed about chips. Yeah. You need to be nourished. I do. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Timothy, look, I went ahead and bought you every flavor of Pringles that they have because you have a chip deficiency. <laughs> Pizza, uh, beer cheese, a uh, pretzel, and uh, we need to talk about your son. He smells like chips. It's disturbing. To us. Thank you for noticing. There's a wafting, a wafting of sour cream and onion in the breath. I know. He's so nourished. No, you, you don't understand. It's starting to get to the kids' heads, and they're not able to have a good lunch. Probably. Except a frog. Yeah. Well, look, I don't think they should be dissecting frogs. Why, why are they eating things that were once alive? We need more man-made matter inside our children. And I can't. Wait a minute. Would you come and teach this class? <laughs> I'm not even qualified, so I guess that makes None me None of us are qualified. Exactly. Absolutely not. This is Puella Washington. <laughs> Honey, yes I am. Everyone have a seat. Have a seat. I am gonna stand. <laughs> My legs are in splints. <laughs> Tiffany, Sarah, I already heard loads about you and it was good. Was it? Yes. Wow. Timothy has Who said anything good about me? Um, I well Timothy for sure. And then when I read his diary, there was even better things oh. about him. <laughs> you, you wrote that really nice song. Her. Tell her, tell her. <laughs> Tiffany, once you pop, you can't stop. No, that was barely even a high school. Okay, class. Yes. Tiffany is still not open the chest. I just want to point that out. Nathan, we're at school. Just drop it. You know what? We're never at school. We're always in the caves of Azeroth. Yeah, you're breaking the fourth wall right now. <laughs> to a little cave of your own, Azeroth, and let you know this. <laughs> this doesn't sound good. My dad started with a real weird talk this way. <laughs> he also didn't pay full price for you, so listen up. She is adopted. <laughs> there is no shame in either of those things. Okay, fine. Fair. Look, guys, I want to bring something that, Timothy, great job. You're already putting down one sleeve, ready for the second one. I want to do something that brings us together. What would make you ladies feel more involved? Probably walking appropriately and not having to be in splints, Jeez, right? Please make it a big, giant spotlight moment. Well, I, I'm just saying that what would make you happy? I don't know, a friendship bracelet or something? It's a wonderful job. I have got all kinds of man-made products that I brought. Um, I've got, you know, uh, fibers that were only created from old Ford cars and uh, a little bit of asbestos dust to roll on it so that you can stay friends for the same amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, do you want to be friends? Guys. Yes. yes. Yeah, I thought we were already friends. I thought we were too. Like, he but we like never chip. opened the chest, and I thought that was what was in there. Friendship? Friendship. <laughs> no, I guess it's just man-made products. Hey, do you want to roll for it right now? Yes. See what's in the chest? Oh, are you going to put it in my Pringles can? Yeah. <laughs> throw it in. Throw Shake it, it like it's Yahtzee. <laughs> yes. Involved. Engaged. Timothy, you're doing it. I'm real, Mom. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, you rolled a 20. A natural 20. 
Why? Oh my God. <laughs> you open the chest and you know what you found in it? A bunch of friends. <laughs> I thought it was going to be snakes for sure. No, I <laughs> normal married couple and right. we just do right. your thing. I'm still awake! Okay. Okay. Why are you guys so gooey? What happened in the casino? Why are you guys so gooey? Why are you guys so gooey? No, no. I, just I, I, I learned like, about stuff. I learned about I, it. Thank you. I know. That was $150. I, she was asleep when you guys got home. You know that. We're Sweet. very disappointed. Wait, In what? her. And who? Her. And, her. Oh, and yeah. you. Yeah. And you. And him. Well, okay. Why? Because well, you said, we want our child to be asleep when we get home. She was asleep, and you guys came in, you know, stomping in. You're well, what else are we supposed to do with those air horns? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want in the cone slot. <laughs> A very kind of wild. I'm 32 now. Thank you. I, I'm just gonna say thank you after everything I say about myself um, uh, and my one fan that I paid. Uh, so uh, when I was 27, I kind of had like a really wild streak, and it was like anything can happen. And so it all started with uh, I went on a Tinder date. Uh, and met this guy, super fun, and within 24 hours, we like go on this date, and he was like, I know the best uh, Mexican restaurant in town. I was like, rad. We show up to an apartment building, we go into someone's home, <laughs> which is fine and cool. Uh, he spoke fluent Spanish, and so he's like ordering for us, and like ordered us beers, and they're like, they went to Texaco, they'll be back in a minute. And so like, we have this incredible food, and like a very interesting new experience for me. Great, loving it. Stefano, great job. So then I was like, you know what, you've got a lot of great tattoos. I've always thought about getting a tattoo. And he's like, I know a guy. So we go over and I'm like, I really love Atlanta. I'm an AT alien. I want it for life. So we like pin something out. Again, he speaks in Spanish to the guy. Next thing I know, I'm on a table and I'm getting like ink put on me to with a man that I can't even like, we have a language barrier. So like I'm hoping that he got all of my order right. And I was like, this is great. Never saw the guy again. It was like a quick 24 hours, a date, in and out, have that tattoo. Four years later, just like two months ago, I ran into him at a restaurant. He didn't recognize me. He was like, Stefano, remember the tattoo? Remember the tattoo? And he was like, oh my god, how are you? Anyways, Atlanta story one, log it away. Second Atlanta story. <laughs> When I first moved to Atlanta, I was very poor. I had to go down to the city hall. You have to pay for parking. It is like the thing I hate the most in life is like, I pay for a car, I pay for insurance. How dare you make me pay to park it? But it did. I'm poor, I pay this money. I go all the way up to the building and they're like, you need another paper. I go away. I go all the way back to the building, pay for parking. They're like, you need this other paper. I'm like, you could have told me that the first time. Thanks. And then I go away. And then I come back and they're like, it's this amount. And I'm like, well, I don't have that either. So I leave again. I'm in cowboy boots and like a short dress and I'm like walking along. And I start crying on the sidewalk because I'm like, <laughs> I'm never gonna have anything. And uh, this very sweet homeless man came up to me and he was like, Are you okay? Uh, and can I have a cigarette? And I was like, No, I don't have one because I don't have anything. And like, the government won't ever let me have anything. And he was like, It's the best thing in the world to me, which is what, which was, um, Oh, come on, Dolly Parton, you're too pretty to cry. And I was like, Please I'm sorry. I know that in this moment I should cry, but I'm afraid I'm far too pretty to do so. So I will stand here with a steel resolve as I watch you, the love of my life, walk away from me forever, and I will not cry. I am too beautiful <laughs> to cry, both inside of and out, and I will not do it, though I am losing 
the best thing that's ever happened to me. Stop, you're making me cry doing this. Hi, I'm her stand-in crier. Hi. I will be doing all of the crying for her. What about like, like... <laughs> Oh my god. You mean I can make money being a mess? Tyler did it! Okay, so look, uh, I'm getting married on the 15th, and uh, my entire family is very upset about it. Um, oh my god, I'm so sorry for you. This is, th this is exactly what I need. This is it. This okay. is it right here. Okay. And they're they're gonna be mad. They're not gonna be crying. Okay. You need to be loud. You need to be wailing. I'm gonna need twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my sister's having a baby, and I need to look like I care about it. Yes. <laughs> at trial and I feel no remorse. I'm estranged from my daughter. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out so much. Uh, we are having a really exciting time planning 2019. You know, we do every fifth Friday here at the beautiful Curious Comedy Theater. So mark your calendars. We also have a surprise show right after Christmas on Boxing Day, December 26th. We're going to be here. We're going to do a surprise show. Uh, do you want to come? Yeah. We'll see you there. Um, I want the biggest. Oh, 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 oh. I do want the biggest round of applause for our interpreter. Give it up for her. Uh, so, we are so thankful for you. Uh, it is truly a niche skill that he's offering. He speaks the language of ASL and the language of improv, and so we are lucky and very unfortunate to have him. So give him one more round of applause. Thank you so much. Um, if you have a great time, and you want to help us out, give us a little tip, throw $5. Morgan has a uh, donation bowl over there. If you don't, we'll never know. Have a great night. Thank you.